Thank you, Madam Chair, and um, thanks to all of you for being here with us today. Um, many of you have talked about the, the efforts of finding and using evidence in the SNAP program, and in my state of Washington, we've already developed a number of effective strategies to help families achieve self-sufficiency. Um, Washington's employment and training program has helped over 11,000 people find jobs, and in one study, less than half of those enrolled in the program remain on government assistance two years after they enrolled. So Washington's program, I think, has been a model, and we used it as a model to um, help create the 10 um, employment and training pilots that were in the Farm Bill. Um, I was wondering, um, Mr. Weil, if you can explain further how employment and training programs um, might be able to help us develop further strategies to help expand opportunity and make sure that we reduce hunger at the same time. Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, well, so Washington has one of the strongest e and SNAP E&T programs in the country. It's done a much better job than most other states. It's done, uh, uh, there are a number of attributes. Most important one in some ways is there's really strong coordination with other agencies, with community colleges, with nonprofits and state agencies. And also the state has used the available federal money. Uh, we're talking about work demonstrations up here, and we've all talked about the 10 state pilots, but the fact is that there's a large, there are large streams of federal money that a lot of states, unlike Washington, aren't really using. Most of the federal ENT discretionary money is used by five states. So we need more states to follow the examples of states like Washington that have done a good job. There's a lot of evidence, not, not all the evidence in the world has to be from randomized control, control trials. There were, as uh, Mr. Sullivan's testim written testimony indicated, there are good workarounds for a lot of these uh, uh, research problems. We need, you know, the problem is getting states to pick up on what's proven. And the evidence that, the research evidence that the states are good at picking up on what's proven is not itself overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Um, I also wanted to follow up on something you mentioned in your testimony. You talked about the primary goals of SNAP being addressing hunger and malnutrition, assisting households obtain a more nutritious diet, strengthening the agricultural economy, and doing so through normal channels of trade. Um, can you elaborate on what the research tells us about how SNAP is meeting those goals today? Uh, so as my written evidence uh, suggests in more detail, we know that SNAP reduces food insecurity, both among children and adults, and it does that by increasing their purchasing power. So it's ach accomplishing that goal. As Mr. McGovern suggests, it could do more if benefits were more adequate, but it's certainly achieving the goal to a significant degree that's important to the society. It's also, since all SNAP benefits run through grocery stores, big box stores, farmers markets. It's doing that through um, normal means of commerce, and it is a boost to the agriculture uh, economy. So it's meeting its statutory goals and doing so in a very effective way. And what else should we be studying? Do you have other ideas on things we aren't looking at today that we should be looking at? Well, there are a lot of uh, state choices and state activities uh, that some states do and other states don't that get in the way of eligibility and benefits. So just as one example, some states have use the very outdated, very low federal assets test, which keeps a lot of se particularly seniors but also working families out of the program. Uh, but a lot of states have chosen the option to do away with or substantially raise that asset test. One important thing that could be looked at is the impact of the asset tests on keeping working families and others out of the program, on uh, reducing, reducing participation and hurting uh, food security. Mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, sta state choices on income levels, on uh, uh, how to, on certification periods, how long people get into the program for before they have to go through difficult um, bureaucratic uh, means to get recertified for a second period. Uh, a bunch of things that vary from state to state that uh, are natural experiments in many ways to show what's most effective and what isn't. Thank you. Um, thank you. I'll yield back. Thank you.